My main job is to coordinate air quality field studies. I take airplanes out and I measure pollution that's coming out of cities and how that changes throughout the day and from day to day. My name is Laura Judd and I map air pollution over cities at 28,000 feet. Our big motivation for this over the last decade or so has been for a new mission that NASA launched about two years ago. This is the Tempo mission that measures air pollution over greater North America every hour from a satellite. TEMPO stands for Tropospheric Emissions Monitoring of Pollution. It is about 23,000 miles above our head, sitting over the equator, and it scans across North America every hour, measuring UV invisible spectrally resolved light. Using those measurements, we're able to tell how much of that air pollutant is within the atmosphere at that location. Another role that I have at NASA is helping manage the Health and Air Quality Earth Action Program, which works in the public health and air quality management sectors to integrate NASA data and resources into their decision-making frameworks. My introduction to NASA was through the Student Airborne Research Program back in 2012. I actually spent the summer in Southern California and we flew on the NASA P3 taking measurements of air pollution, where I was able to learn about the concerns of air pollution and how it has dramatically changed over time and often for the better, whereas in the U.S. we've seen this rapid decline in nitrogen dioxide from satellites over the last 20 years. When we're studying air pollution, our strategy is not just to use one perspective. We actually use an integrated observing system that includes satellites, it includes ground-based monitors, it includes aircraft to close that gap in between. And we also integrate all that information into models and so we can better predict the air quality that we have today as well as use those models to predict how can we make it better tomorrow. One thing that I would like the public to know about the work I do is the importance of air pollution and how it impacts our lives, whether we know it or not. Air pollution is actually the leading environmental cause for premature mortality around the world. Eight million people die a year from air pollution, and these are preventable deaths. The success story is around the, much of the world Air has been getting cleaner over the last two decades, but there's still work to do.